Hey everybody, welcome back to the Race 5 Smokehouse and Grill and today we are cooking inside in the kitchen and we're making one of our favorite recipes. It's very simple. It's my mom's homemade chicken and rice dish. You're gonna love it. Let's go. So this dish is a riff of chicken cacciatore, which is a uh, slowly braised chicken dish with tomatoes and veggies, and then you can mix it with, with some sort of rice or pasta, or anything starchy at the end. So the way we do it, we brown up some chicken, we season it, hit it with some diced tomatoes, season that, let that slow simmer, cook some rice, mix it all together at the end, and it is such a good stick to your bones, easy recipe that you're gonna make all year long. It, we make it all the time. This, this is a couple time a month dish here. Let's get going. First thing we're gonna do is heat up that pan. Let's go. Pan's heated up nicely, so we're gonna start off by hitting it with a little olive oil. Gonna let this heat up. Coat the pan. We're gonna give that a few seconds to warm up and then we're gonna hit it with some garlic. I'm just using the store-bought minced garlic because that's what we have in the refrigerator right now. And again, this is an easy dish that you kind of just put together real quickly and not a lot of effort goes into this. So we're just using, again, the minced garlic out of the jar. We're gonna throw that in right now. Now we're gonna go with a couple tablespoons of the garlic. We really love the garlic. We're gonna let that garlic get real nice and aromatic, which it's already begun. As soon as the pan's right where we want it, we're gonna throw these chicken legs in there and brown them up nice. Browning these chicken legs give it a nice texture and a great flavor. So let's get these chicken legs in. You can see this garlic is coming along nice here. I wish I could tell you how great it smells here. Now we got a bunch of chicken legs. That's it, chicken legs. We've got these chicken legs in the pan right now and we're just gonna let them brown. We're gonna flip them a few times, try to get a nice brown color across the chicken leg. And at that point in time, we're gonna add a few cans of diced tomatoes. We're just using regular diced tomatoes. Um, sometimes we use the Italian seasoned ones. Today, I'm gonna be seasoning everything myself. I'm gonna be hitting it with some salt, some pepper, and some Italian seasonings. Uh, so you could go either way. If you wanna use ones that are seasoned already, feel free. If you wanna season yourself, by all means do it. Let's go flip some chicken. Not ready yet, it's getting there. There's a little browning on there, but we wanna get a little bit more brown before we start flipping. You can see a little bit in the bottom of that pan there that it's starting to brown up nice. So we're gonna go ahead and get some of this chicken flip, check that backside, and make sure we're getting a nice browning on the chicken. That's what we're looking for. We're gonna let this side brown up for a little bit longer and then we're gonna add our tomatoes. And while this is browning up, I'm gonna hit it with a little salt and pepper right now. Get this all nice and mixed up in here. We have that great color starting to form. So we're gonna go ahead and add our tomatoes right now. Just right over the top. Depending on how many chicken legs you have, depends on how many tomatoes you can use. Now typically, we go with about three cans, which is what we used here. Get that nice and integrated. Then we're gonna hit this with a little more salt, a little more pepper and some Italian seasonings. Go ahead and get this nice and mixed up and integrated here. That's it for now. We're gonna let this come up to a little bit of a rolling bubble. We're gonna turn it down to simmer and let it go for about 40 minutes to an hour until that chicken's fallen off the bone. In the meantime, we're gonna make some rice on the side, just simple rice, a a cup or two of rice, cup or two of water, boil it, and we're gonna bring it all together at the end. So we'll show you throughout the cook what we're looking at and when I know it's done. So let's close this up and we'll be back in a little bit. 
All right, you can see we have some bubbling going on here. We got some bubbling going on around here. I'm gonna reduce this to a, a low, and now it's time to let it simmer. Now that that's covered up, we're gonna come back maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, give it a stir, and we're gonna know that it's done when it's really fall off the bone and all those tomatoes and the fat from the chicken and all those spices are integrated. This is great, especially once we mix, mix that tomato mixture with our rice and we put our chicken on top. Ooh, so good. All right, we'll be back when it's time to stir up in about 20 minutes. This has been going about 20 minutes. Let's go check on this chicken. This is coming along gorgeously, cooking well. Just gonna give it a little stir around here. Make sure nothing's sticking to the pan. Now you can tell that this chicken is not done yet. That skin is still kind of rubbery there. We're gonna let this continue to cook. Let all those flavors marry. Let that chicken render. That tomato mixture that we're gonna put over the rice at the end, it's just gonna build more flavor the more that fat renders out of those chicken and as the salt and pepper and those seasonings all meld together. So let's close this up. Probably for about another 20 minutes, we'll come back and check again. And now's the time that I start my rice. I like to use a Louisiana long grain rice just because I like the flavor, I like the texture better. So we're gonna cook a few cups of that and we'll have that at the end. It cooks for about 20 minutes. We have about a half hour left on this, so that'll give that rice perfect time to cook. And then also sit and rest and let all that liquid absorb into the rice. So we're gonna cook that rice. We're gonna be back to check on the chicken in about another 20 minutes and we'll see where we're at. Been about another 25 minutes, so about 45, 50 minutes total. Our rice is done and cooked. That's off to the side resting. Time to give a final check on these chicken legs. See if they're fall apart tender right where we like them. Let's check. Now we can see that these are right where we want them. You can see that meat is just falling apart from itself, which is exactly what we want. These chicken legs are super tender. Let's build our plate. We're gonna take some rice, put it in a bowl. We're gonna scoop some of that tomato and chicken mixture, put that over the top to mix that up. And then finally, we're gonna take our chicken legs and we're gonna eat. Let's build a plate. Give that a good mixing in there. And then get some of your chicken. Now oh, come on, look at that, would you? Look at that, super simple, super delicious. Now if you want, a lot of times I'll hit it with a little Cajun seasoning and kick up that flavor a little bit more, or you could just get into it because I know it's gonna be good. Don't wanna melt your face off. Look at that, chicken just comes right off. We're gonna go ahead and have a great dinner right now. Thank you for everyone tuning in, checking this out. We really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy this recipe. Go try it at home. Let me know what you would do different. Let me know what you like. Leave a comment down below. Again, really appreciate you checking it out. Please make sure to hit that like button, give us a subscribe, and check us out on social media. And we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks again, everybody. Peace.